Hello everyone, Jerry Riz here coming to you with another video, and this is not a troll, this is not clickbait, I am actually running all my cores currently on my 3900X at 4.7 GHz, you see CPU-Z and hardware info here. Now there's a little asterisk because you need to have SMT turned off, so that makes it a little easier, and I'm also only doing it on one CCD, that means one chiplet. The reason for this being is each 3900X has two chiplets. One is a high performance chiplet and one is like a lesser performing one, so lesser bin one. My, that, the first one can go to 4.6, the, the other one can only do like 4.2, 4.3 when you're doing, you know, just precision boost. But here I have that one turned off, so only the high performance one is on. And yes, it is at 4.7 at 1.45 volts. So this is not an everyday thing. I am on water, like I said, and um, it does work. And I'm going to actually, for a game, because this would really only be for gaming. Like, it's it's not for production, this kind of setup. But it it's with six cores, it's plenty for most games. So let's actually start the benchmark here. As you can see, FPS, uh, CPU is at 4.7. Uh, you know, my graphics card, my 1080 is uh, there too, as you can see. CPU uh, temperatures and utilization right there. This is a 1080p ultra I'm running on and this is just to show you that it is Possible don't worry about the stutters here because I'm recording it off of another PC. It's not really stuttering on the uh, Actual PC. I'm doing this via uh, you know team viewer just because it's easy, but um, This is working and it is not um, falling off um, average um, minimum and max here you can see our FPS is still over a hundred you know uh, and th that is 4.7 it has been stable for me while gaming at this voltage at this uh, temperatures as you can see 50 degrees Celsius nothing crazy which is um really really cool and I this really goes to the future of um, the 3950 you know, that one that's coming that's going to have the super binned cores. If you turn off one CCD, you're going to have, I'm pretty sure, 5 gigahertz plus on that chip on water. The same way I'm doing this here. If you have a better bin chip that can run on lower voltage, this is going to be possible. And I this has me really excited for that chip. But like I said, 4.7 gigahertz on water, 1.45 volts. It is here. It is real. AMD has brought the pain to Intel this year. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and get subscribed. Comment down below if you want to know any more about this chip because I'm going to be testing this. I'm really excited for to see where this goes. Any more tweaking I can do. This is just a really initial test, um, you know, proof of concept here. It does work though, and I'm really surprised. I'm really happy about it. Um, I'm going to do more PBO, power precision boost overdrive stuff because that's probably how I'll run the chip usually. But I got a good chip here. It is running really good. This shows where AMD is going. They are nipping at Intel's heels with uh, with gaming uh, you know, prowess. And I'm really excited about it. I'm going to have more videos. Hit the links down below. Get subscribed. And yeah, this is Joey Riz. See you later.